Hello folks, I thought I would uh, show you how I set up my take it easel which is um, uh, along the lines of an Anderson Gloucester easel. Uh, what you can see in the, in the, on the picture right now is the easel, um, my paint box, and my backpack. So let's see how I set this up. All right, so what I'm going to show you here is uh, I've got my backpack, I've got my easel, I've got my paint box, and this is what I take to go out and plant out paint. Um, and uh, if I'm traveling a long distance, the paint box will get a little bit heavy. I made it myself in about two hours. As you can see, what I've done is uh, I kind of scavenged part of an old French easel to be a, a canvas and panel, wet panel holder on this. So when I'm done, I can just pick it up, put it in there, and, and walk out with it, uh, and hopefully not mess it up too bad on the way. My backpack, um, uh, Creativo or something, I'm not sure what that is. It's from Jerry's I bought online. Uh, it's got a brush holder in there, and I'm probably going to go with something else because the, the uh, zippers on it didn't seem to, to last very long. Now, this is the Take It Easy. Uh, Jerry's also sells a um, one called a Beauport. And the Beauport is cheap Chinese made. It's made the exact same, close to the exact same. Uh, the hardware on this is exceptional. The hardwood is exceptional. It weighs about eight or nine pounds. Um, the only thing that I'm going to do different with this is, is replace this strap with a nice rifle, rifle strap so it's comfortable on my shoulders. So what I do, let me show you how I set this up real quick. I've got a bungee cord on here that I use to keep it all together from flopping around. There's a, um, a hook rod that you'll see come into use that I store inside here. So, basic truck, okay? So what I do is I pull this nice brass button, okay? That's the back leg. Here's the right front. I pull it, slide it down, and the left. And I know my yard where I'm setting this up is a little off. So I want it to be even. Uh, are you getting all this? Is it all, can you see the easel and everything? Okay. So, there's this bar that, that lets you determine the width of your stance on the front two legs. And, um, you know, I just want it to where my paint box can set in here with no problem. These support bars, twin support bars right here. It's got the little tightener sliders on it. Don't have, hardly ever have to use those. So, with it set, look at this. I mean, you can pick it up and go in. And here's the hook rod, which is going to uh, hold my canvas or panel. And uh, today's I've just got a small panel I want to show you how to use. I take my paint box. I'm going to set my paint box down. And open it up and I'll fold it all the way back. The only reason it doesn't set completely flat, which I wish it did, uh, is because of this top holder. And, um, you know, there's different paint boxes out there, different ways to do this, but this is the way I've done it. So uh, I'm gonna stick with this for a while so I can set that back. And now, I mean, it's, it's, it's sturdy, it's good to go. Um, in case of high wind, in case I'm setting on a, uh, you know, it's kind of slick here, so I can use the, uh, the bungee cord to hold that in place if I needed to. I could hook it around and underneath and around this. No problem. So, my palette in my paint box. I've got all my little tools and the pegs for my canvas, which today is a 9 by 12 I'm just going to show you. I don't have any larger out here. Um, so, what I do is I uh, get in my backpack. And I'll take out my trash bag, which I try to reuse until it's good and full so that I'm not wasting plastic. I'll hook that on that support, take my paper towels, stick them over the end of that support. I've got my liquid, which I use as a uh, medium and it helps dry it. Uh, I've got my mineral spirits in a mason jar, a cup for my liquid. good because around here we have lots of ticks, lots of bugs. My 
brush holder, and then my brushes, which are in this part of the back. So I'll just pull one brush out and stick it in and show you. So that's basically it. I mean, here I'm, I'm ready to roll, you know. Uh, very fast setup. I guess I do need to put my panel in. Let me show you how to do that. This panel will actually work better if I change the hole. There are three holes on this particular easel. And this hole here brings it at a different angle, but it lets it set up just, just about perpendicular. It's not back too far, it's not forward too far. Uh, so that's basically it on how to set it up. Now let me show you the breakdown real quick. Very quick and easy. So I put my panel back, put all my stuff up. Of course, you know, if I'm been painting, I have to uh, clean my palette. And as hot and sunny as it is out here, I do have a hat that I use that is getting a lot of wear these days. But I'll use my hat. Okay, so that's basically the inside of my pack. back up. If I had a wet panel, the 9 by 12 doesn't work well on this, but 1620 and up. I've had 24 by 36 on this, carrying it through the woods with no problem. So there's that part. Take my bungee, put it over here, and then just the breakdown of the easel. The breakdown of the easel is so fast, with no problems, hardly ever. Again, the, the hooked rod at the top, I'll put in perpendicular, slide it down. It's not going anywhere. I take my bungee and wrap it around. Put it back together. And we're ready to roll. Well, I hope that this helped you if, you, uh, if you're going to buy a take it easel or even a bow port it. Kind of shows you how to set it up quickly and break it down. And uh, I can't recommend the Take It Easel uh, anymore. I mean, it's it's a beautiful easel, wonderful. Uh, the Cadillac of outdoor easels is what I call it. So, uh, if you're in the market, I definitely recommend it. Thank you very much.